now jury selection begins for the Dane County man accused of killing his parents and hiding their bodies. Temperatures are cold again outside this morning. We also have an alert day now in the forecast. Find out when that's coming up. Plus a dominating victory for the Green Bay Packers during one of the coldest games at Lambeau Field. This is News 3 Now this morning on a Monday morning. Happy New Year and thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. And I'm Leah Lynchine. Chris Stanford has the day off. Boy, did those Packer fans look cold last night. You can just see it, right? It just yeah. looked cold. Well, the forecast is sticking around for today. Really, really low temperatures in store for your Monday. We'll get to that in just a minute. But first, we begin this morning with a troubling return to class for many school districts in Wisconsin. While some districts are going to virtual learning due to COVID concerns, a Rock County school district canceling classes this morning due to a shortage of bus drivers. The Beloit School District will have no school today. According to a release from district officials, there is a staff shortage at Durham Busing. The release says all staff is still expected to report to work. It's unclear if the shortage will be resolved by tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, students in the Madison School District won't be going back to school today either. Right now, the district is extending its winter break, beginning the semester with virtual classes on Thursday. School leaders hope to return to in-person learning by Monday, January 10th. Officials say record levels of new COVID cases, staffing shortages, and extra time to test both students and staff led to that decision. Milwaukee Public Schools will also go virtual this week. District leaders say that's due to an increase in staff testing positive for COVID. The district also hopes to return to in-person learning by January 10th. 601 now, the Chandler Halterson trial starts today with jury selection. Prosecutors expect it to take about three weeks. Our Susan Simon previews the trial with a look back at the past six months. The trial of Chandler Halderson begins nearly half a year after he initially reported his parents missing. On July 7th, Halderson reported his parents Bart and Krista Halderson missing from Windsor, saying he hadn't heard from them since July 2nd. The next day, News 3 Now spoke with Halderson about his parents' disappearance. Halderson said they were headed to a cabin in Langlade County. He didn't want to be on camera, but he did allow the conversation to be recorded. They were picked up by their friends who I never got the name of and I, I assumed it was someone I was aware of. The close neighbors of theirs up the street or um, their best friends down on the east side. So that's what I assumed. I never really asked any further. Less than 24 hours after that interview, a set of human remains are found on a property in Cottage Grove. They are later confirmed as his father, Bart. And Chandler is arrested for allegedly providing false information to police. At this point, we have an extremely complex investigation. We have a defendant who had six days, essentially, to hide evidence of this crime and lied to police in the course of this missing persons investigation, which he instigated. At that time, the Dane County Sheriff's Office was holding out hope to find Krista. This moment, we are optimistic that Krista is still alive and well, and we will let the evidence from our investigation tell us otherwise. But on July 14th, Krista's remains were discovered in the town of Roxbury. One day later, Chandler was charged in the murder of his father and his bail increased to $1 million. In late August, he was formally charged in the death of his mother. During his next court appearance, Halderson stood silent in court and pleaded not guilty to all eight charges against him. We have an interactive timeline of the Halderson investigation up right now on our website, channel3000.com. We'll also be streaming the trial in its entirety and have latest developments right here on News 3 Now. For the second year in a row, the road to the Super Bowl in the NFC will run through Lambeau Field. The Green Bay Packers clinching the NFC's top seed in a big win over the Vikings last night. It was one of the coldest games ever at Lambeau, and the Packers took a little while to warm up themselves, but when they did... They turned it on, leading 20-3 to by halftime. Aaron Rodgers had two touchdown passes last night. He and the Pack went on to win 37-10. to The win secures them a first-round bye in the playoffs. They'll close out the regular season on Sunday against the Detroit Lions. I knew quite a few people at that game last night. Austin Kopnitsky, including our very own Dana Fulton. Boy, she had the big old <laughs> blanket coat thing on. She looked warm, but I tell you what, it was cold. Yeah, I don't know how many layers you'd really need to actually call yourself warm at that game last night because it was very cold. And even this morning, we are still dealing with those extremely cold temperatures, especially for this time of the year, but it's still 
going to be very cold today. Not as cold for tomorrow, thanks to a little bit of a southerly breeze helping to warm us up. But a few snow showers and flurries still looking possible on Tuesday night and into Wednesday, although that's really not going to amount to much in terms of total accumulation. But we are going to get cold again afterwards. Thursday and Friday are going to cool right back down. In fact, Friday is going to be cold enough that we have issued an alert day. Now, our current Doppler track does look pretty good right now, and we're going to see mostly sunny skies for most of today. Early in the afternoon, a few clouds will roll on through, but other than that, mostly sunny skies really take over for the majority of the day. Temperatures up in the upper teens and low 20s, warmer than yesterday, still colder than average. We are going to see those, those winds coming out of the south, which will help to warm us up ever so slightly. Then tomorrow, we're looking at the upper 20s and lower 30s to return, so we are going to see that slight warm up again here for Tuesday. But then come Wednesday, that's whenever that next snow chance actually is. And unfortunately for snow lovers, not bringing a lot of chances, just a few flurries, maybe some lighter snow showers, isolated dusting or so here and there, but that's just about it. A lot of that snow is going to be in the northern part of the state. So down here in southern Wisconsin, other than just those few flurries and light snow showers, that's about all we are looking at. Most of the accumulating snow is going to be up north. Now alert day is in the forecast for Friday, late Thursday night and into Friday. That's because early Friday morning, it'll be around 5 to 10 below zero with wind chills at about 20 below zero. And then the high temperatures on Friday, only about 5 to 10 degrees. So it's going to be a cold one. Right now we have that high set at 9 degrees on Friday. So we have put in the alert day and it's going to feel likely below or at zero throughout that day on Friday. Boy, the furnace is going to be at uh, full strength <laughs> here the next week. It <laughs> is. Yikes. Staying cold. All right, Austin, thank you. Well, as the long holiday weekend wraps up, some travelers are at a standstill this morning. More than 2,400 flights were canceled on Sunday alone. On the ground, it's not much better with severe weather adding to the travel woes. Holiday air travel, though, up 184% from 2020 as flight delays and cancellations piled up across the country. At Chicago's Midway Airport, winter weather this weekend forced more than half of flights there to be scrapped. Jeff Spring of AAA says holiday road travel also at near pre-pandemic levels. It jumped 28% from last year, even as packed roads and dangerous wet and icy conditions slowed many down. People hitting the roads like you expected them to. It was one of the busiest uh, travel holidays on, on record uh, nationwide, uh, not just hitting the roads, but all over different kinds of travel formats. And that's the most in nearly 20 years since AAA started doing this tracking. Experts say pandemic fatigue is one reason why so many people are hitting the roads during this holiday season. Omicron, though, could have a huge impact on those numbers in the coming weeks. 607 now. Coming up, why your online information should be on your list of New Year's cleaning. Consumer Reports shows you how. Also ahead, the new way you can dispose of your Christmas tree this year. because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200. And other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips, and thighs and back 
I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sono Bello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sono Bello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free no obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness now for zero enrollment, 10 bucks a month till January 6th. Enjoy tons of equipment in our clean clubs for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. <laughs> it's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Feel Fitacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends January 6th. You can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 6-11 this morning. It was one year ago this week that an angry mob of Trump loyalists stormed the nation's capital on January 6th. 31 defendants were sentenced to time in prison or jail for their role in the deadly violence. This morning, a new CBS News survey showing some interesting results about how Americans feel about that day. CBS News asking whether it's ever justified for political candidates or officials to insult people, lie to the media or voters, or call for violence. While a majority of Americans say it's never justified, 14% of respondents said some elected officials or candidates might be justified in calling for political violence in speeches. President Biden and lawmakers plan to mark the January 6th anniversary this Thursday with speeches and other solemn commemorative events in Washington. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has tested positive for COVID-19 after becoming symptomatic at home. He wrote on Twitter he's quarantining himself for at least the next five days and will attend meetings virtually. He last met with President Biden just before Christmas. Austin is fully vaccinated and boosted. He credits the vaccine for keeping his symptoms mild. Back at home, Madison Schools giving you the opportunity to get your booster. There are dozens of appointments left for their vaccine clinic tomorrow at Lincoln Elementary School. It runs from 1.30 to 5.30. The, the Pfizer booster will be given out to anybody 16 years or older who got their second Pfizer or Moderna shot six months ago or their one-dose J&J shot two months ago. You can find out more by going to the MMSD website. It's right there on your screen. Developing this morning at 6.12, at least 30 inmates are recovering from some inhalation after a fire broke out at a jail in downtown Baltimore. It happened on the fifth floor of a seven-story facility. The fire caused an immense amount of smoke due to poor ventilation in the building. 28 people suffered non-life-threatening injuries and most were treated at the scene. Three inmates and a corrections officer were taken to the hospital for more treatment. The cause of that fire is still being investigated. Well, if you've never Googled yourself, go ahead and try it. You might be surprised to find out just how much of your personal information is out there. It is legal for websites to collect your information from public records, although it's often potentially dangerous. So how can you remove it? Consumer Reports has some advice. Wow, this is unreal. How do they know all this stuff? Constantino Sophos is shocked after finding out just how much of his personal information is available online. It's a little scary and just unnerving to know that my whole life history is online. He says he didn't intentionally upload any of that information, so how did it get there? Sites like Ben Verified, Fast People Search, and People Finders are part of the vast data broker industry that collects information about people or companies and then sells it for things like advertising. A lot of people don't even realize that there's tons of information about them online. Consumer Reports CIL Grower investigates online data collection and privacy. Like these companies don't tell you they're putting up your information.
information. And that has the potential to be risky, giving employers, online stalkers, even identity thieves access to your personal information without you ever knowing it. Things like your current and former addresses, phone number and email, and also the names of your relatives, even arrest records. So how can you regain control of your information? You can start by checking out some well-known data broker sites for your personal information. Some sites may require a copy of your license or ID to delete your data. Before sending it, cross out any excess info that might be on there, like your license number, social security number. If you'd rather let someone else do the work, CR says sites like Delete Me, Canary, or OneRep charge around $100 a year to remove your information from a number of sites. If you choose to do the work yourself, CR suggests making a list of sites you've opted out of. That's because you'll need to check back periodically to make sure your information hasn't reappeared. 614, almost quarter after six right now on a Monday morning. Austin's here with your forecast. Good morning, Austin. Good morning. It's only five degrees outside right now here in Madison, so we really need to keep that in mind. It is another cold start to our day. It's going to be another cold afternoon, but not as chilly as what we saw yesterday. Doppler track does look great right now, and we are going to see mostly sunny skies for most of today. Just a chance to see a little bit of some afternoon cloud cover here and there, but that's just about it. Mostly sunny skies for most of the day. Now you look at our temperatures, one below in Watertown and Juneau right now, two below in Wisconsin Dells. Here in Madison, it's actually one of our warmer communities currently, but it's at five degrees. Janesville right now at one, and let's get into the really cold conditions. Camp Douglas, 11 degrees below zero. Watoma at 12 degrees below zero. And Black River Falls right now, 18 below. Then you throw in the wind speeds, which really aren't too bad, but Madison was calm for most of the morning now recording about a six mile per hour breeze and that is enough to bring down those wind chills so it feels like it's six below right now in madison feels like it's 10 below in janesville 16 below in monroe and up towards camp douglas 23 degrees below zero is what it feels like so a very cold start to our day by this afternoon we do have a high of 20 degrees expected with mostly sunny skies it will look very nice out there but still hanging on to a breeze that will bring down those wind chills it's likely going to feel like it's around single digits for most of the afternoon. And then talk about cold temperatures late Thursday night and into Friday. We have an alert day now in the forecast. That's for a very, very cold morning there for Friday morning. Afternoon temperatures only bounce to single digits and wind chills likely again going to stay below zero for most of the day. Burr. Yeah. <laughs> One way to put it. <laughs> All right. Austin, thank you. Well, if you were hoping to see this year's Holiday Fantasy and Light Show at Olin Park in Madison, you better hurry up. Today is your final day to see those lights. They're going to be turned off for the season. Those lights were installed back in early November. You'll remember I was out there in the 608. The show is free to drive through thanks to several sponsors. The lights will be turned off tonight at 1030. Last chance. We are officially entering the post-Christmas cleanup season, tossing out stale cookies and crumpled gift wrap. But if you're dreading the walk to the curb to dump your trisp Christmas tree, there's another option. You can take your tree to the Ulbrich Park. Local artist Lillian Sizemore sits at the ready, clippers in hand there. Sizemore is building a labyrinth out of donated Christmas trees set to open in the park on January 30th. Yesterday marked day one of collection for the project. After the holidays, you have it up in your house, and now there's some place that it can go to be used further. Otherwise, it sits at the, the, uh, along the street and it may be there for up to a week. The labyrinth itself will take the shape of a classical labyrinth with an 89-foot diameter facing the sunset over Lake Monona. Donations for the project will be accepted at Ulbrich Park every day from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. We have more information on how you can donate on channel3000.com. 618 right now with the college football season coming to a close. The college basketball season is in full swing. The number 24 ranked Badgers men's team returns to the Big Ten action tonight at the Kohl Center against the number three ranked Purdue Boilermakers. It's the Badgers first game since last Wednesday when they held off Illinois State despite being down five players due to COVID protocols. After tonight, the Badgers will continue to battle it out against Big Ten rivals, including the Iowa Hawkeyes on Thursday, Maryland on Sunday, and then a rematch with number 13 ranked Ohio State. Overall, the Badgers are 10 and 2 so far on the season. 
The Milwaukee Bucks also returning to the court tonight in Milwaukee against the Detroit Pistons. The Bucks beat the New Orleans Pelicans on New Year's Day 136 to 113. The Bucks are third in the East right now with a record of 25 and 13. 2022 started at the North American box office pretty much the same way 2021 ended with a certain web slinger soaring above the competition. Spider-Man No Way Home snaring its third straight weekend crown. It grossed $52.7 million. That gave it a domestic total of $610 million, cracking the all-time top 10 in just 17 days. American Underdog moved up to fourth place with $4.1 million. The Kingsman fought its way to third place with $4.5 million. And on the small screen, NCIS and NCIS Hawaii back with mid-season premieres on CBS. First, the NCIS team must track down a suspect believed to be selling stolen classified software. Then on NCIS Hawaii, the team investigates a shipping container filled with contraband weapons. The Neighborhood and Bob Hart's Abishola also return with new episodes. You can catch them all tonight on CBS. Well, if you had a little too much fun and too much to drink over the weekend, listen to this. Two new research from British researchers show there's no scientific, scientific evidence that hangover cures actually work. The study assessed products containing clove extract, uh, red ginseng, Korean pear juice, and other hangover cures. Although some improved hangover symptoms, the evidence was low quality. Hair of the dog not necessarily helping you out, no, huh? No, not necessarily. 620 right now, coming up, the New Year's Eve celebration making headlines this morning. And in our next half hour, why doctors say this Omicron wave could have been prevented. Stay with us. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Happy Holidays from Meineke Car Care Center. We would like to thank you for your business this year and wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Drive safe during all of your travels. Meineke, doing car care right. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take time for kids. Running a race is a lot like investing. It takes discipline, patience, and time. But most importantly, it takes endurance. Because in order to go the distance, you need to be prepared to get there. At the Burrish Group at UBS, we have a trusted advisor that's ready to go the extra mile with you every step of the way. Call the Burrish Group today. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. The value of a Toyota just keeps getting better. It all ends January 3rd. Toyota, let's go places. News 3 Now's Call for Action team advocates for you, asking the right questions. Yeah. You hope to make that right. And getting results. They sent a water heater the next day after you made the call. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. Cobison Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Just about 624 on 
a Monday morning. Can you tell it's a Monday? Did the new year not begin? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We did have a beautiful photo for you to see, but maybe we're not gonna see that. Oh, it's behind us. Oh, it is behind us in the monitor. Look at that. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it is. And we're not at the desk. It looks like we left. Well, <laughs> still on holiday vacation. Look at that. Nice Gorgeous zoom shot, in. Though, Sam there it? zooming into the monitor. Look at that. You can oh, see all of the trees. You can see the snow. It really is fantastic. Of course, encompassing Wisconsin, you can see the barn and the silo. This is like a Leah Lynchide special here. I did say, just <laughs> frame that puppy up, send it my way. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That's one nice thing with the snow. I mean, it's cold, but at least it looks really nice outside right, now. It right. doesn't look all, you know, dead and brown. And I'll take snow. I will. I'll take snow and cold, especially in January. We are in Wisconsin. By by the time March rolls around, get <laughs> it out say of even here. February. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, my patience starts weeks. to get a little slim after right, a while. Right. right. All right. Well, hey, if you've got a photo you'd like to share with us, we'd love to see it. You can do so by sending it uh, using the hashtag MyNews3Morning. Well, over the weekend, cities around the world celebrated the start of 2022 with a bang. Check this out, though. A special fireworks show in Seattle making headlines for its use of augmented reality. Whoa! T-Mobile's New Year's fireworks celebration at the famed Space Needle brought fireworks back to Seattle skies. But this is really interesting. So the Space Needle partnered with multimedia studios and digital artists to create the first ever live fireworks show to be augmented with special effects only seen on TV or streaming. To keep people safe from COVID-19, people were encouraged to stream the fireworks from home and they got this special uh, sort of after effect. You can see some of the added augmented reality to the fireworks show. That's pretty legit. Isn't that looks that really cool. Wow, technology, baby. Literally bringing the new year in with a bang out in Seattle. Again, a great way to just stay at home, stay safe, be with your family and check in and even check out an even better fireworks show. Yeah, that is so awesome. Well, the new year coming in with a uh, cold bang here in Wisconsin? Is that a thing? I don't <laughs> One know. Way like, to put it. Yeah, I don't know. New Year's not coming in hot, that's oh. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's coming in with a, a snap, a cold snap, something like that. There we it's, go. <laughs> it's five degrees outside in Madison right now. It was down to two not long ago, so we really have uh, started to cool things down this time of the year, and it's going to stay pretty chilly all day. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Habitat homes are built and bought by the hardworking families that live in them. Through affordable mortgages backed by your donations, Habitat Dane County offers a chance for these families to invest in their future and their community. Please donate or volunteer today. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Ask your doctor about Botox today. So here's what we won't do. We won't let self-doubt win again. Because together, Come on, Riley, let's we're working on something more real. Elbows in. With a real plan and coach for real 360 support. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. Come join the amazing team of compassionate caregivers at the one and only Attic Angel Community. Attic Angel Community of Madison is looking for skilled RNs and CNAs and offers shift differentials and on-demand pay, tuition reimbursement, wellness center, and much more. CNAs starting at $18 an hour. We also offer rewarding careers in housekeeping and food service. Apply online today at atticangel.org. Come join the one and only Attic Angel Community. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. 
Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. Local doctors are looking for new ways to address the pandemic in the new year. And the hot market for a new car. What has prices up and supply down, along with advice on how to navigate the process? And boy, is it cold outside, but what are the temperatures looking like? I will have an update and a look at your extended forecast coming up. Bundle up, folks, on your Monday. Good morning. Welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. And I'm Josh Breider. Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Chris Stanford is enjoying a nice long holiday weekend. He'll be off tomorrow again, too. So, unfortunately, we're back to work. We're back to work. Uh, unfortunately for him, it's not like he can spend a lot of time outside. It's it pretty is cold out there. so cold outside. I yeah. like left and I could, you know, when you're just driving, you know, I, I'm lucky enough to have a garage, but you can just tell it's cold outside and then you get to work. And it's like, oh, wow, I got out of the vehicle and I was just like frozen right away. And you checked your dashboard and it had one degree. One degree. Yeah. It's like that point to where I think my nose was frozen within about five seconds of being outside. Like it's ridiculous. The good news is it's warmed up since one degree. The bad news is not, not by more than four degrees. More good news. It's going to be. <laughs> sunny today but yeah it's still not go. gonna warm us up that much awesome we'll have our forecast here in just a few minutes first though new COVID infections after the holiday weekend are surging everywhere the u.s is averaging about 350,000 cases a day, a jump fueled by the highly contagious Omicron variant. Last week, almost 400 children were hospitalized by the virus every day. The CDC says that's a 66% jump from the week before. For those of us hoping to see that pandemic end in 2021, obviously that didn't happen. Christina Laurie talked with Dr. Jeff Pothoff of UW Health about his wishes for COVID in 2022. If you are over talking, hearing, worrying about COVID. There is just only so much that human beings can take uh, before they say, you know what, like I just can't do this anymore. UW Health Dr. Jeff Pothoff is with you. You see death and dying, uh, you know, so many days in a row, uh, it just starts to, to wear on you. Only he has spent more than 600 days fighting it firsthand. You see uh, kind of the, the sorrow that it causes, not only for the person that's affected, uh, oftentimes, you know, they're they're in a coma. It's it's the family members that come in. And he's exhausted. This is preventable. The pandemic isn't going the way Pothoff or any of the country's top doctors predicted. The Omicron variant is setting new records every single day. And the most frustrating part. It didn't have to be this way. I think what made it worse is uh, we all felt uh, it was almost an emotional moment when vaccines became available thinking this is it. We made it. All we got to do now is get vaccinated and this goes away. Four of five people in Dane County are fully vaccinated, but statewide the vaccination rate is at three in five, making it likely you know several who haven't gotten their shots. My wish for 2022 would be easy. I would wish everyone would have a sudden change of heart and we'd have very high vaccination rates in this country. We'd have very high rates of boosters. One of the best ways to do that is encourage and remind your family and friends to get and stay protected. Uh, and what we would see is likely COVID continuing, but we would see mild cases, uh, folks who don't get very sick. They won't necessarily need to require a hospital. Making a resolution that'll help us all this new year. In Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. You can still schedule an appointment for your vaccine or booster shot online at any time. We have links to help you do that over on channel3000.com. It has been a week since the CDC outlined new guidelines for a shorter quarantine period, but people are still asking questions this morning. Dr. Anthony Fauci appeared on numerous news programs on Sunday to explain who the five-day period is for and how to navigate it. If a person tests positive and gets sick, they are still told to quarantine for at least 10 days. The CDC decided that they would cut that down to five days if the person remains asymptomatic, so long as when they do go out, 
in the second five days of that 10-day period back to work or back into society that they diligently wear a mask. You're right, there has been some concern about why we don't ask people at that five-day period to get tested. That is something that is now under consideration. Dr. Fauci says the CDC could decide to provide updates on quarantining procedures sometime early this week. 6.34, your time on this Monday. Austin's here now with your certified most accurate forecast. It's a chilly one out there, Austin. <laughs> it really is. I'm sure a lot of cars are going to be struggling to start early this morning. But hey, at least it looks nice outside, and we are going to see a lot of sunshine for today. But the temperature's staying well below average. Very cold today. The breeze will pick up a little bit here for tomorrow, and that's going to actually translate into a slightly more mild afternoon. But we're still only really talking about the lower 30s for tomorrow. And then Tuesday night into Wednesday, a few snow showers and lighter flurries here and there, too. That's going to bring down our temperatures for the following days. Very cold Thursday, followed by a bitterly cold Friday. And Friday is going to be cold enough where we actually have put in another alert day for this upcoming Friday. I'll have more details on that in a moment. But our Doppler track right now currently does look great. We are going to see mostly sunny skies. Just a chance to see a little bit of some cloud cover here this afternoon for just an hour or two. And then the sunshine really will break loose again with the southern breeze temperatures rise to the upper teens and low 20s not too warm out there but still about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday we're going to tack on another 10 here by the time we reach tuesday afternoon temperatures likely going to jump into the upper 20s and low 30s again a little bit of a stronger breeze for tomorrow but still coming from the south so that'll help to pull up some of that southern warmth that we are uh, in need of in desperate need of right now but then you look at uh, what we're expecting here tuesday night into wednesday a few of those lighter snow showers or flurries are a possibility, but in terms of accumulation, we're really not looking at too much locally, maybe an isolated dusting or two. All the accumulation with this system is really going to lie up to our north and even farther north than northern Wisconsin. So a lot of this is going to actually be in Canada as well, clearing out here late in the day on Wednesday. But what we're watching out for, it's the alert day on Friday. Low temperatures early Friday morning, about 5 to 10 degrees below zero. High temperatures on that day, only about 5 to 10 degrees above zero. But those wind chills are likely going to stay around zero or below. Current temperatures right now, five here in Madison, Mineral Point at one degree. We're looking at about 11 below in Camp Douglas, so these temperatures really are quite cold early this morning. Watoma also checking in at 12 below zero. And then our extended forecast shows those smaller chances for some snow showers or flurries on Wednesday. A few flurries possible on Saturday, but otherwise we're not looking at many accumulation chances. Just a very cold 10 days ahead of us. Yeah, pretty quiet, huh? Pretty quiet, that's right. I mean, I'd rather have a little bit of snow and warmer temperatures, but we'll take the drier conditions with very cold temps, I guess. I guess. Austin, thank you very much. <laughs> 636 now. The trial of Chandler Halderson starts today with jury selection. Halderson was arrested in July for providing false information to the police after he reported both of his parents missing. He was later charged with both of their deaths. He's pleading not guilty to the eight charges against him. More on the timeline of his arrest can be found on channel3000.com. We'll also be live streaming the trial right here on News 3 Now. Starting Wednesday, the downtown restaurant Lucille will require everyone to show proof of COVID vaccination and an ID. Restaurant staff will also have to be vaccinated and provide a negative COVID test to be able to work. They're the latest local business to adopt the vaccine requirement amid this Omicron surge. The different downtown restaurant is temporarily closed this morning after its landlord allegedly stopped paying their bills. Paisans is currently locked out of its space at 131 West Wilson Street. The city of Madison asked the landlord to pay for a third party to inspect the building following two reports of structural concerns late last year. Paisan's owner tells us the landlord has no plans to do that. So now Paisan's is serving food out of its sister restaurant Portobello on Francis Street, but its owner says that's not a long-term solution. So to put Paisan's into a, a box and serve food out of it isn't exactly what we would like to do. We would like to continue to have a restaurant that we view as a place that people are going to want to go into because not only are they going to have good service and food, but it's going to be a place that they're going to enjoy being in. Wally Browski says they have a few spots in mind to move Paisans, but that move would be costly and time consuming. He says it's very unlikely Paisans ever returns to his space at 131 West Wilson. Rescue teams are still looking for two people this morning after a fire tore through Boulder, Colorado. 
One person was found safe over the weekend. A blanket of snow has made searching through the rubble there, though, more difficult. Nearly a thousand homes were destroyed by the Marshall Fire. FEMA arrived in the new year to try to piece together how to help the victims there. This is going to be a long road to recovery, um, but know that the federal family, uh, we are going to be with you 100% um, all the way through this. The agency is also working with state workers to develop a strategy to house the hundreds left homeless by the fire. 639 right now. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside on a Monday morning, first Monday of the new year. And it's a cold start out there. Give yourself some time to warm up the car and dress in layers. It's so cold. Austin's going to detail those temperatures coming up in his forecast. Plus, why the new year might not be the best time to buy a new car. The auto industry, low on selection but high on prices. How to navigate that market. MG&E, building your community energy company for the future through the power of working together. Committed to cleaner, more sustainable energy, driven by innovation, fostered by shared values. Visit MGE2050.com. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community. Independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the Herb Chicken Mediterranean Pizza right now at papamurphys.com. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Why don't I know you? Come see Tina Fey's Mean Girls at Overture Center, January 11th through 16th. Get your tickets now at overture.org. You and me, partner, we meet center of town, high noon. Hold on. Nope. Daisy's got last one lessons at noon. Okay. High two o'clock? I got a spur fitting at two o'clock. How's about three? Oh, I'm getting thrown through a saloon window at three. We don't need any more overscheduling, but we could all use more ways to save. I can squeeze you in between swim class and Kevin's harp recital at 3.30. Always eating beans at 3.30. Right. Switch to Geico for more ways to save. Tell you what, what about Tuesday? On the next Live Before, it's another holiday weekend at the box office. Our film critic Will Loper will have the numbers and tell us what to watch and what to skip on screens, big and small. MG&E, building your community energy company for the future through the power of working together. Committed to cleaner, more sustainable energy, driven by innovation, fostered by shared values. Visit MGE2050.com. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. We're back at 642. If you've shopped for a new car lately, you already know prices are up, supply is down, and we're all tired of that chip shortage. And adding fuel to this fire are dealer markups on popular cars. Yeah, it's called market adjustment or live market price. Mark Kane has more on when cars might start appearing back on lots and one new model that has some dealers reaching for the stars. It's a pretty common sight these days, nearly empty car dealer parking lots. And the vehicles the dealers do have, especially popular models, are selling for over the sticker price. So you look at uh, some of the dealerships, or I, I believe almost all the dealerships right now, have some vehicles or all vehicles that they're selling over manufactured or uh, suggested retail price. They're selling fewer cars. They can't sell them at zero to no margin. The dealers are making more money per vehicle, but it is going right back into the dealerships. 
But those high new car prices are tempered somewhat by the trade-in value of your old car. They've never been more valuable. Your used vehicle is worth a lot of money right now, more than it ever would have been. I mean, it's an, it's an appreciating commodity right now. Cars don't do that, but they are. So if you have a car, even in just average shape or below average shape, you're going to get a nice trade-in price on that vehicle. This all has to do with supply and demand, and one vehicle in high demand right now is the new Ford Bronco. News 3 Now's auto expert Harvey Briggs says jacking up prices on a hot vehicle is nothing new, but he's never seen a market adjustment quite like this. Harvey's seen markups of $30,000 over the sticker price. $75,000 for a $45,000 Bronco. You know, there. I don't like it. I don't think it helps the dealer in the long run. I don't think it helps the manufacturers in the long run because they're clearly taking advantage of consumers at this situation. But Harvey does point out in better times, the dealers often sell cars below the sticker price because that's what the public has come to expect. And as a consumer, you can choose to buy it or not. And so the idea, uh, I would say, if you walk into a dealer and they have a market adjustment on a vehicle, Walk out and start calling around. And Bill Sepik from the Dealers Association points out the current supply problem is temporary. We've seen the ups and downs, and it's secular, so you know, there will be a glut of cars again. It just doesn't look like it in the near future. Well, we're hearing from the manufacturers that this is going to stretch into probably the last quarter of next year. Patience, people. In Madison, I'm Mark Kane, News 3 Now. Now, experts agree if you don't need a new car right away, it's best to order one to get exactly what you want. You'll also avoid the dealer's markup. The auto industry isn't the only transportation industry struggling because of the pandemic this morning. Amtrak is also struggling. The rail service now scaling back its schedule through January 6th because of bad weather and COVID cases among employees. About two dozen trains on both its northeast corridor and long distance routes will be affected. Amtrak says 97% of its workforce is vaccinated, but cases are still on the rise for staff. All right, 645 now. Austin Kopnitsky here with your first warm weather, your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Austin. Oh, man, I wish I had warmer temperatures, <laughs> but it's only still 5 degrees. It's better than the 2 degrees we were looking at earlier here this morning. So we're starting to warm things up. The southerly breeze will help to actually bring slightly more mild conditions by this afternoon as we're expecting upper teens and low 20s. Nothing's going to happen on the Doppler track for today. We're looking at mostly sunny skies, just a chance to see a few clouds towards the afternoon, but that's about it right now. You take a look at our current temperatures, five here in Madison, one of the actual warmest communities outside right now because it's 12 below in Watoma, 11 below in Camp Douglas right now. A lot of our Western friends are currently below zero right now, so it's a very cold start to our morning, and then you factor in the wind speeds. Now, what I was showing you was just the actual air temperatures, but then you factor in about a five to 10 mile per hour breeze, and this is what it actually feels like out there. Camp Douglas 23 degrees below zero here in Madison. It feels like it's six below. Pretty much every community feels like it's about at zero or well below it early this morning. So later on this afternoon, we will see a bit of a recovery that high of 20 degrees expected with mostly sunny skies. It is going to look great out there, but it's still going to be quite cold with wind chills remaining in the single digits and it's going to get quite colder here come Thursday night into Friday. That's whenever we have an alert day in the forecast. Early that morning on Friday, 5 to 10 degrees below zero. By the afternoon, 5 to 10 degrees above zero. But wind chill is likely going to stay below throughout the day. Some good inside days. Oh, yeah. Great <laughs> inside days coming up. Good inside week. Cuddle up by the fire. All right, Austin. <laughs> thank you. 647 right now, a 4-H club in California had most of its fundraisers canceled because of COVID, but by turning to one farm animal, they're able to fundraise and do a little good. The idea was to collect old Christmas trees, recycle them for donations to the club, but the recycling part got interesting when the club's leader owned a goat farm, suggesting the goats be fed the trees. Turns out goats love the taste and can't get enough of the evergreens. Who would have thought? Who has even gone to Google, searched up, do goats like Christmas trees? Who searches that up? 
Caleb with the million dollar question right there. The group has collected so many trees, they are reaching out to other goat farms in the area to offer their goat gold. Best story <laughs> of the morning. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I'm with that kid. <laughs> All right, something you might not have thought about in the new year is that it's actually Milwaukee Bucks mascot Bango's birthday. To celebrate this year, the deer showed up the entire team by making a backwards half court shot. Check this out. There it goes. Then she's in, folks. Unbelievable. So Bango was born in 1977, meaning he's 44 years old and swishing buckets like that. You can tell he's even shocked that he made it. My Boom. goodness, what a talented fella. I could not do that. Well, definitely showing up the team. I wonder if Giannis could pull that off. Oh, for sure. Backwards? For sure, no doubt. It's Video Giannis. proof needed. You're right, you're right. The Greek freak. 6.49 now, coming up in the morning sprint. A new label to look for at the grocery store. What the USDA is changing in 2022. But first, it is January 3rd, and we want to say happy birthday to Madeline and Emma and all the other kids turning three today. Happy birthday, and thanks for celebrating with us on News 3 Now this morning. Really? Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. The big in-stock winter blowout sale is on at Slumberland Furniture. Over 20 different sofas in stock and ready to go. Over 50 accent chairs and recliners, too. Everything is on sale and shipping is free. Huge store-wide savings at Slumberland Furniture. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more. Fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. This new year, in just 10 minutes, you'll look incredible. This is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference and, you know, I felt something happening, but I had no idea. Like, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I did this to my father at home because I was skeptical. Yes, I admit it. Four minutes, 34 seconds. The appearance of his under eye bag was completely gone. We were screaming, you have an event. You have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself. I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This this new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Get year-end savings on everything in stock, including mattresses at the big in-stock winter blowout at Slumberland. Everything is on sale, including mattresses, and shipping is free. The big in-stock winter blowout at Slumberland Furniture. On sale and ready to go. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. Kids nationwide are set to return to school today after the holiday break, but not all Wisconsin kids. There's concern as the Omicron variant spreads rapidly and pediatric hospitalizations are up. 
Madison and Milwaukee schools have pushed back their start days with virtual learning because of COVID. Meanwhile, Beloit also canceling classes today. That's because of a lack of bus drivers. Beginning Wednesday, Lucille's will require everyone to show proof of COVID vaccination and ID. Restaurant staff will also have to be vaccinated and provide a negative COVID test to be able to work. They join other local businesses like Jenna's Lounge and Quibi's Grove by implementing that vaccine requirement. One of three people missing from the Marshall fires in Colorado has been found alive. Officials say two people are still missing. A search group has been combing through the charred homes that were destroyed by the wildfire. FEMA is assigning 100 officials to assist the hundreds of people who lost their homes. Jurors in the Elizabeth Holmes trial resumed deliberating, deliberating this week. The Therano, Theranos founder faces fraud charges after prosecutors say she intentionally misled people about her blood testing startup. Her defense claims Holmes truly believed the technology worked. The trial lasted for four months with the jury entering its third week of deliberations. President Biden says the U.S. and its allies will respond decisively if Russian troops cross Ukraine's border. Biden spoke with the president of Ukraine this weekend. Earlier last week, Biden told Russian President Vladimir Putin there will be a heavy price to pay for any invasion. The USDA's new rules for labeling genetically modified foods took effect on Saturday. The changes are part of the Department of Agriculture's new rules of genetically modified organisms, or GMO. As of January 1st, foods on supermarket shelves will be labeled as having been bioengineered instead. In most cases, consumers will still be able to find more information by using a phone number, website, or QR code. The show will go on. Betty White died on New Year's Eve, but producers are going ahead with her celebration show. The documentary on the remarkable performer's life and career will still play in theaters one night only on Monday, January 17th, White's 100th birthday. You can check FathomEvents.com for locations, but locally it is showing at the Marcus Point Theaters in Madison and the Palace Theater in Sun Prairie. AT&T and Verizon are rejecting a request from the FAA to delay the rollout of their new 5G wireless services any further. The cell phone carrier sent a letter last night saying they planned to start it up on Wednesday after they had already agreed to a costly delay. The FAA believes 5G could delay the airline industry and cause some gear to not function properly. U.S. researchers found repeated impacts to the head over four years of boys playing tackle youth football were not associated with neurocognitive function, but they did find a connection between self-reported medical diagnoses like ADD, anxiety, and depression. More than 522 million million dollars up for grabs in the Powerball jackpot. There has been a winner nearly three months. The lump cash sum estimated to be more than 371 million. That drawing for the jackpot is tonight. Money, 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 money. I probably won't see that winnings there, but we do have a winning forecast overall. If you don't like snowfall, if you love the cool temperatures, also a good forecast because it's only five degrees outside right now. Camp Douglas at 11 degrees below zero. And then you take a look at our extended forecast. Most of these days also going to stay below average. Average high temperature, 28 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be one of our warmest days, only reaching about 31. All right, Austin, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Make it a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.